What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today I wanna to talk about what I believe is the best web browser available out there for your Amazon Fire TV Stick or any Android TV box. Um, this web browser to me is way better than Silk Browser. You can see my screen, I don't even have the actual internet app that comes with your Fire TV Stick, which should be Silk Browser, because I just believe this one is that much better. Uh, the name of the web browser I'm gonna be showing you guys today is called Puffin TV Browser. To me, I feel like it's one of the best. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it right here. And then it comes up just like that. And this is your start page. It almost looks like a, a Fire TV box um, on steroids. I mean, it looks like an Android box to me. I mean, if I were to put that Howl launcher on my Fire TV stick, this is what it would look like. Well, guess what? The Puffin TV browser actually gives you that same look, but it's only a browser, which is awesome. So um, right off the bat, you can see the difference here between this browser versus the stock one that comes on your Fire TV stick. And right off the bat, I mean, it's easy to navigate, easy to see things all in one view. Um, that's pretty much the biggest thing I like about it. So let's go ahead and check out some of the things. So right off the top, you say start page. So you have their options to search or type in a URL. It has this cool feature here, the push new link, which means that let's say you have a bunch of bookmarks stored on your phone. Well, all you would have to do is to scan this link uh, or scan this QR code rather and it will actually upload those links to Puffin TV browsers. You can actually have those saved on there. So there's like specific links you like to look at on your Fire TV, on your like Android device or your tablet that you like to see on your Fire TV using this browser, you can't. Now if I go back out and go back over here, um, you can have your bookmarks tab there. It's really easy to find. I have a couple of bookmarks here. We're gonna go over that in another video though. Um, going down here, it has your recently viewed. And the cool thing about recently viewed, I can go here and hit clear browsing history and everything's gone. So let's say you're on a website, you may not want anyone else to know you was on. You can actually click clear browsing history right here and it's gone. It doesn't come back. Um, there's no extra buttons in the press. Just click on that icon, done. All right, now I'll come back down here to most popular to give you kind of like their most popular uh, websites that are trending right now come up here on this tab here now the only thing I don't like about the browser itself is that it doesn't allow you to customize the tabs they're kind of already pre-set up for you um, and they're all good but I would like to see in a future update um, customizable tabs here or tiles so that if I wanted to let's say remove Google and put something else there I could but um, for right now you can't actually do that the only thing you can actually customize or change to be the bookmarks all right um infotainment's really good there's a youtube here so let's say that you know you're trying to look at your youtube videos or catch a youtube video here you just click on youtube and then all of a sudden you got the full-blown uh youtube browser here available at your fingertips all right so it's really good here um news social facebook instagram i mean all right here you just, just cl simply click on it and log in you're right there on your facebook or your instagram sports they got pretty much the top ones available i don't i wish espn was on here but it's okay i can navigate to espn whenever i want to they have an education tab um just a couple other things and then they have show times where mashable and reddit videos to so kind of show you what shows come on and things like that so they've kind of populated everything on here with like some of the top websites you would pretty much use if you're using a web browser. So this thing's pretty powerful. Um, so now I just wanna go into detail a little bit of how it works as far as like navigating around on the website. So for instance, I'm gonna use, I'll just use YouTube for right now. So on YouTube, you're gonna notice that there's a mouse here. This mouse is just like the Silk Browser mouse, um, but it's more so like a computer. Now, if I click on the button on your remote, if I click on the one with the three horizontal lines, it brings up these other settings here. So this is kind of like their little tool box here that you can actually do some other things and invoke different things. So if I want to, let's say there's a certain thing going on or a certain page that I'm on, I want to bookmark that page or bookmark that site. I can click add to bookmarks and it'll go to my bookmarks section. Um, or here I can search for something within the page. Uh, it has a flash theater. So what that does is that it searches for flash on the website. So let's say you're on a, a website that needs to have flash. Well, if you click this button here, it will make sure that wherever there's flash needed, it will go through and turn that flash mode on so you can actually get those flash videos or whatever that animation might be. And there's also a scroll mode. So let's say that you wanna navigate on the site really fast. You can scroll up and down really quickly with the scroll mode. And then lastly, 
the open keyboard. So let's say you need to type something in, or if there's a search bar or something like that, you can actually invoke the keyboard at will, which is really good. You don't have to actually, you know, click into something. I can just go ahead and type in the keyboard for what I'm trying to do. So it's it's really good. It's really powerful. They really thought through everything. They really kind of decided um, on how well they're going to make this work better than. Um, Silk browser. So um, now the app itself I have located in my filing store. It's not located in Amazon store. So again, if you were to search Puffin right now using Alexa, it will probably pull up pictures of the actual Puffin bird. Um, trust me, I already tried it. So that's what I'm letting you know now to so save you some time. Um, so you're actually going to have to get it out of my filing store. Um, and I'll have the link in the description. Um, to getting it set up on my file link. So if you don't have file link on your Fire Stick and you're brand new to this, I have a link below where you can watch the tutorial I made that's really easy to follow to set up your Fire Stick. And then you can get this out of my file link store. I also put my file link code on the description as well for you guys to check out. But um, yeah, this is, to me, one of the best web browsers you can have on your Fire TV Stick or Android TV box. I mean, it does everything you need to do. It's really easy to use and it's right there in your face on the screen. So there's no searching or extra motions or button presses that you have to do. You can just get right going with this and uh, and be good. I mean, be happy about it. I mean, and, and like I always say in all my videos, it works. If something works and it works good and it's easy to use, it's something that I want to have on my Fire Stick or my Android TV box. So, but that's all I got for you guys today. I just want to run this by you guys uh, to my file link store again. Um, also, like to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to help build it up to something big. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, and also comment below um, if you love this web browser as well, or if there's something else out there that you see that's maybe even better than this. Um, comment below. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, touch on, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But that's it, guys. That's all I got, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.